Ruined my childhood and laughed at my homelessness? Time for payback. Backstory. My mother was a really shitty person. I have four other siblings. One older sister, three way younger, three different dads. Before I was born, I'm a male BTW. My oldest sister was taken away from my mother when she was a few months old because she tried to stab, slice the father of my sister while he was holding her. She lost custody and the dude left her. Older sister goes to live with her father's family in a different city. Kulel. All me coming into this sexy world. My dad went to jail too. Three years after I was born for a while, I rarely saw him. He's an alcoholic if that matters. She was a single mother, but she made it work and she worked hard. One of the bigger problems was that she took out all her aggression and hatred of my father on me, as well as work stress and etc. She dealt with sexual abuse growing up, which I'm sure definitely affected her relationships and how she treated me as well. Anyways, cue me being abused from the age of four, five to about 17. Every day was hell. She was extremely strict and her perspective was warped. She was also pretty big in stature and had a lot of strength. Examples of her being shitty. I've gotten beaten up badly once because her room was dirty. The dishes weren't washed and I got beaten soon as I got home, even if there weren't dishes when I left to school. If I walked too loud, ID get my ass beat. She broke my nose for looking at her the wrong way on my 10th birthday. When she brought me a cake, I was allergic too. It had peanuts, she knows I'm slightly allergic, but feigned ignorance. It was more or less every day or every other day. She used her fists, slash elbows, slash extension cords, slash hangers, slash chairs, slash canes, slash bats, slash etc. Whatever she could find, I was getting beaten with. I couldn't ever escape to my room for long because she would always call me every few minutes to get her things or to yell at me. She never drank or did drugs or anything. Whenever she was upset and I happened to be in front of her, she'd kick me down the stairs to make me hurry up. She's put a knife to my neck before and had to be forcibly stopped by her BF of the time. Burned my Christmas presents from other people. She didn't get me anything that year and just other really shitty things. The only thing I will say, she tried really hard to make up for it with video games and electronics and etc. It didn't make a difference to me though. It never helped. She controlled most aspects of my life. I got by with little petty revenges, peeing in the Lipton iced tea she drank, rubbing her forks and spoons between nigh butt cheeks before I served her dinner, ignoring her screams for help when she had kidney stones. How TF am I supposed to help anyways? But by the time I got to high school, I turned to alcohol. I resented her and the negative atmosphere affected who I was as a person. I started to be cold and uncaring, calculated. She started kicking me out every few months, telling me to find somewhere else to live by age 15. She sent me away to a different country for a year and tried to keep my passport, but I made it back to the US with the help of the embassy and my stepfather. She'd already left by that time and found some other dude. I came back senior year with no credits for the prior grade, which ended with me getting a GED. I spent most of the time I could with my best friend and started working shitty jobs. I was terrible at saving as I had accumulated loads of shitty habits while growing up, so it didn't make much difference. She eventually told me that if I went to college, I would always have a place to live until I finished. Cue my first two semesters at a two year college, I maintained a three, seven ish GPA. My teachers loved me and it was my escape. Towards the end of my second semester during finals, I came home late one night around 10 PM and my mother yanks the door open, screaming in my face, asking when I'll move out. I'm slightly drunk and decide to completely ignore her and walk to my room. If I opened my mouth, that day would be the day I blew up and cursed her out. I've rarely ever raised my voice at her because it never ended well. Now at this point, I'm 19 and I've been doing school full time with no savings. I'm also fairly fit and could easily take my mom at this point. Never laid a hand on her or any woman. I hate violence. I get to my room. She rips my door open and starts yelling. I say nothing and stare at her. She walks away and called the police on me, saying she thought I'd murder her and my younger siblings. I don't know where the fuck she got that idea from, as she's the one who's nearly killed me many times. I packed everything into a duffel bag and left five minutes afterwards. I failed all of my finals because I couldn't make it to my school. Things kind of spiraled and the next two, three years were me on and off homeless. I survived the best I could in a big city with no college degree and made a lot of shitty choices due to my shitty habits. 
Eventually I found a profitable hobby that gave me meaning, and through that I started to work my way up. Got my own apartment, had a full-time job, and did my hobby on the side. I hadn't kept up contact with my mother at all, but my younger sister, who was old enough to have a phone, found me on social media. So I saw photos and such. She didn't have it anywhere near as bad, but she did get beaten occasionally. My mother reached out via email, all smiles, asking how I've been. Now guys, I've always been envious of the relationship most PPL have with their moms, so I gave her a chance and gave her a call. We talked for a few minutes, and everything was civil, and seemed like things would go okay. But then, she asked me what I've been up to the last few years, and I told her honestly that I was homeless for a while and struggled a lot after what she did to me, but I worked my way out of it. She literally laughs. She laughed for a few seconds in a very condescending kind of chuckle and then said, I never did a thing to you so you don't know what abuse is. It's your own damn fault you were homeless. So how about you? But by that point, I hung up. I was speechless and fuming. I don't know what abuse is. Okay, bitch. I've spent too fucking long letting you destroy my sanity. Now is the time. There was a few things my mother didn't know. One, I knew for a fact that current well-paying job she had was gotten on lies as she never got her college degree and lied about it on her resume. Two, I had access to all of her email accounts and cloud storage accounts since I was the one that set them up when I was younger and she never changes her passwords. Lastly, she definitely wasn't aware that from 13, wire is old, and on to the last time she hit me, I took photos of all my bruises slash marks slash wounds slash bloody noses, saving them to my computer, and then Google Drive. On top of that, my little sister had been sending me photos via social media of the bruises she got from my mom. The first thing I did was compile all of those photos videos into one folder. I then reached out to CPS in my city and explained that my siblings were being abused, how I was abused in the past, and that I had mountains of proof, since I've called the cops on my mother before. And the thing that happened with my older sister, there was immediately a home visit. They arrived almost a day later with the police, and coincidentally my mother was literally in the process of beating my younger sister when they were knocking. Cue an emergency removal of all my siblings from the house, and my mother getting arrested though she was released hours later. I was getting a day-to-day play-by-play because my mother's best friend is a blabbermouth and everything. My mother said she told her son who relayed it to me without either of their knowledge. I sent CPS all the evidence, and there's a legit case against my mother now. The next day I emailed and then called up her job to inform them that she had lied about having a very necessary college degree as well, current events in her life, which sparked a background check. She was fired days later. Say adios to 75k and a blacklist in the only industry you know how to work. I then spitefully deleted every cloud account and email address I ever made for her, which was all of them, which I'm sure will make keeping up with a lot bills and etc nearly impossible. I then anonymously reported her to the IRS because of the tax fraud she committed for years by claiming people's children that weren't hers with a lot of detailed information since I lived with her while she did it. So now, my mother lost all her kids and her job. A meeting with a caseworker from CPS next week to talk more about what happens moving forward, but I do know they're not going back. IDK how she's gonna pay her mortgage now and survive. I'm sure she's gonna get a call from the IRS who'll be looking for a few thousand dollars she owes them. She also has to go back to court in a few months. Not exactly sure what she was charged with, but it'll update when I find out how everything turns out. Side note, she isn't aware I'm the cause of any of this. I plan on keeping tabs on her, and waiting until it seems like she's close to death, before I tell her it was all me, and I peed in her Lipton. Edit. I wasn't expecting this much attention. I'll try to individually reply to everyone because I hate ignoring people. But it's gonna take a while, so here are just a few general things I felt I should add. I am psychologically not in the position to take care of my younger siblings or take on a parental role. I came very close to suicide two years ago, and I'm just trying to work on my alcohol problem and other habits that keep me in a cycle of instability. No, I haven't been to any programs or therapy. I don't think it will help me in regards to my nearly constant apathy, and etc. My two youngest siblings weren't really bothered much. It was mostly my little sister, after I left, who got beatings, but luckily, it wasn't anything near the level I had to deal with. I'm also incapable of taking custody because I don't have an apartment anymore due to bad decisions I made while drinking recently. So I'm back to homeless, 
but I crash with a friend once in a while. I am very well aware I am an influence on my younger siblings, and I'm trying to stay consistent with doing everything I can to be a better and more stable person for them, so that maybe I can finally build a real relationship with someone in my family. I'm sorry to disappoint everyone who keeps wishing me more success. Aside from my little siblings, I have zero contact with anyone else in my family. And even then, it's been very rare because I had to avoid my mother to see them and didn't want her knowing I kept in contact. Meeting my little sister after school, FaceTime, etc. The rest of my family were well aware of what she did and distanced themselves. I don't plan on reaching out to them as I'm not good at maintaining relationships with mostly anyone anyways. Edit 2. To all the people who had to deal with something similar, I'm really sorry that happened to you. I wish I could help, but I don't know how I can. To all the people who disagree with my actions, I'm sorry that I acted in a way you didn't like. I just wanted to share my story. Also, for those concerned, my three siblings are currently being housed together, and I made it very clear I will do anything to make sure they aren't separated, but I know that anything can happen. I stay in constant contact, and they are all doing well. Lastly, I have read the hundreds of comments for me to look into therapy and AA, as well as people hinting that I may be depressed. I don't really know what my next step is in regards to that. I don't like to think about my feelings too much, but I do know I need to stop drinking. It doesn't help at all.